Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today it looks like I got myself in a little bit of a predicament. Today, we're going to be checking out the story of the flood, hence, you know, why we're on a raft right now. So yes, this is a small little indie game made by a Chinese developer. I've actually been following it for a few months now. I was given uh, early access copy and it was a little bit too basic. Uh, now the game has come out and yeah, I thought I'd check it out because I love these atmospheric uh, indie games. And essentially what we have to do in this one is you can see the top right. We have five slots on our raft and we have to choose what items we want to keep on our adventure here. Uh, don't know what that says besides Jewel Way. As I said, Chinese developer, um, sometimes this note is English, though, because I did play a few test runs here, so that's kind of weird. Anyways, let's, uh, venture forward here, and yeah, basically all we have to do in this game is decide what items we want to keep, and hopefully they help us upon our journey. It's a pretty interesting game. There is, uh, like 17 different endings you can choose from. I don't think, well, the box of books might help me keep entertained. I'll, I'll grab them for now. Uh, because I don't want to regret missing something. All right, well, that's definitely, uh, useful. We got a broken canvas here, so now we should have, yes, as I assumed, wind power. I don't need to sit down anymore, but I'm assuming, yes, if I sit down, we can't even go faster. Judgment day is here. That guy is not having a good day. Can I, can, can I pick up the dead guy, you know, for meat? Is that wrong? I mean, I have to survive. Is that the freaking Mona Lisa? All right, talk about lucky. Maybe I can trade that for a can of beans or something out here. <laughs> Let's put it on the boat. What is that? Uh, oh, an oil lamp. All right, I don't know if it's nighttime or not, but I think that will give us light when we do need it. And there's a man. Hello, man. Oh, it's not only a man, it's a prisoner. Uh, do I want to trust a prisoner? Okay, buddy, you can come aboard. I have no space left on my boat. I'm really glad I got this oil lamp because it did turn dark out. Man, you should be uh, rowing. I did save your life after all. Oh, God, we, we, we have a dog here. Hold on. So I can abandon anything? You know what? <laughs> that is so wrong. But a dog's more important. Oh, my God, he's struggling back there. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should have got rid of the books. The dog is coming with me, though. <laughs> a box of diamonds? I don't know what would be better, a box of diamonds or the Mona Lisa. All right, you know what? I'm going to trade the box of books for the box of diamonds. None of this stuff makes sense to keep anymore because money and currency isn't a thing, I assume. Ah, oh, it got quiet again. What is that? A water purification device? Uh, yes, please. Okay, we're going to get rid of whatever that was and grab this. I think that was the box of diamonds. What is that? What the hell is that up above? Uh... That's moving. Oh, is that... What is that? Is it an alien? Okay. Just, just... Let's just keep going. I think that was a giant spider. I can't believe... Yeah, we, we didn't get eaten. Satellite receiver terminal. Okay, now I'm gonna have to get rid of the, the expensive items and get to useful items. So goodbye, Mona Lisa. And we have a satellite receiver now. Oh, well, the church ain't doing so good. Looks like we're on day two. Scientists. Oh, I need literally everything now except the dog. I cannot throw a dog in the water. I'm sorry. He's the last thing that's going in. Prisoners that are humans, totally fine. Dogs are not okay. I guess the one thing I don't totally need is, is the oil lamp. I got to assume the other things will be useful. I don't know if a scientist... Oh, it's it's so hard. That's the point of this game. Decisions. Whoa. Was that telling me to get rid of the dog? <laughs> I'm sorry, scientists. I think you'll be okay. You might want to put out, you know, the, the burning helicopter. You can just chill in there for a while. I, I'm just going to keep going. Oh, a, a nuke? Where the hell are we putting out on this thing? I, I'm just curious now. All right, we're going to get rid of the oil lamp. I'll probably regret that, but I have to see. Oh, okay. Well, at least nobody's going to screw with me or everyone's going to regret it. Ah, oh, this is, this is, this is, this is a very grim game. Toolbox, nuke, tool, I'm scared if I drop the nuke off, will I die? I think I gotta get rid of the nuke. A toolbox makes a lot of sense. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm so picky in this game. What is go, this is so dark. Who's doing this? I mean, I understand there's a flood. Why is there human shish kebabs everywhere? Ending five. Can <laughs> wait, canivores? 
Cannivores robbed your boat. Oh, cannibals will rob single survivors. They are afraid of nuclear bombs. Oh, uh, all right. So do we do the same run and just keep the nuke and not grab the toolbox? Leave a message to other travelers. Keep the dog or you get it. Where do they see that? Maybe in the mailbox? <laughs> is that what the mailbox is for? If so, that is so cool. All right. Well, there's the first one. We had the big flood. We collected art. <laughs> we got the prisoner. <laughs> we abandoned. This is so cool. I love that they do this. Oh, wow. So, yes, we died due to carnivores. That was a, a very short run. Let's see if we can last a little bit longer. So I'm 60% loyalist and 40% egoist. Uh, this type of personality is bold and challenging, authority and romantic. Oh, yes. And it says I appear to be more of an architect. And every time I do the Myers-Briggs test, which I have done a few times, I am INTJ. So oddly accurate, I guess. All right. Screw you, Leonardo. I think you're just there because, hey, you're worth a lot of money. So let's grab it. This time I'm going to keep the prisoner with me. Um, It seems to be oh a bottle. OK, so it is random. But it seems like there's common items that you will get every time. Maybe I should have grabbed that bottle, but oh well. Oh, is he dead now? Is he dead because I didn't choose him? Does it change every time? He's freaking dead. Maybe it's random or maybe because I killed him, he's dead now in my next play. I don't know. This game might be deeper than I thought. Well, you know, I have to get the dog every freaking time. There's no way I cannot just let a dog drift off. You're trying to me, buddy. Oh. I picked up the purification device and the spider dropped something. Huh. I wonder if I don't pick up the purification device if he keeps it. Interesting. All right. We have the scientist again. Oh, it's so hard. I just picked up a satellite receiver, but I think I'd rather take some humans with me. So we essentially just have a light. A sail, water purification, a dog, and a scientist now. All right. Uh, I need this bomb, I feel like. So we're going to have to get rid of uh, purification. No, let's just get rid of the light. You know what? I'm also going to get rid of the canvas only because I don't really need that. And I'd rather grab the toolbox. I mean, I don't mind having to row. All right. So we made it back to cannibal lands. Let's see if they screw with me now that I have a massive nuke on this. And hopefully once this is over with, I can drop the nuke because uh, I'm going to need more slots for other things. Cannibals want to make a deal with you for a broken engine. Do I get rid of my scientists for a broken engine or refuse cannibals? Refusing cannibals doesn't seem like a very good idea. Getting rid of my scientists might be a bad idea as well, but I'm, I'm curious. Maybe we can actually get an engine on this thing. Sorry, scientists. I'm a little bit of a jerk. Well, hold on. My engine's smoking. Oh, it isn't actually working. Okay, well, wait. I have the toolbox, don't I? Can I use it? Operate. Can be used to repair broken engines. Repair it then. How, how, how do I how do I repair it? Oh, there we go. All right. So as long as I have the toolbox, I am good. Well, I feel like this is a good plan. I now have an engine. I have an explosive device to keep cannibals away. I have a friend to keep me sane. Water purification to get water. Only thing I have to worry about now is food, as well as volcanoes. Evidently. Oh God. It's, do I need something for that? Should I be alarmed? Ah! Oh God! I should be alarmed. Jesus. Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Watch out, dog. Oh my God. Should I stop? Do I actually have to avoid these? <gasps> okay. Okay. Those are from the distance. All right. Let's just get through this as quickly as possible. Oh my God. I thought that was my dog. Bro, bro. Friggin' let's get out of here. Dog, help. Paddle. My engine just died. Oh my God. My thing is taking so much damage. Oh, there, there goes the nuke. Okay. Well, at, at least it didn't explode and I didn't lose my dog. We are still going. That was so cool. I am impressed with this little game. Oh, great. A sign that says danger. That makes me feel very comfortable about being here. Bucket of fresh water. Well, I still have my water purification, right? Yeah, so I don't need that. But I guess we'll pick it up just for the time being. What the hell's that? Oh, my God. A crocodile? No, dog. Dog, please. Please. It what the? Why would you jump off? He just saved my life. He saved... He saved me. Oh my God, my heart, my heart. That dog just jumped off to save me. Oh, I will always remember you as a good boy. Thank you. I feel so alone now. 
Oh, thank God we're out of the nighttime. Uh, all I have is water with me, so at least I have lots of uh, space now for more things. Hopefully, I can get some of those soon, especially by a hospital. There's got to be some useful stuff here. I found a clay tab, the seventh clay tab. They are guardians of the night. They are afraid of the light. I feel like that's a tip to get some sort of light source. A torch! Oh, the clay thing gave me a tip for sure. Okay, how the hell do I turn this thing on? Operate. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to keep that thing on because whatever that clay torch is referring to, I don't want to screw with. What the hell is that noise? What the hell is that? What are you? Oh my God. What? Okay, come on. Okay, thank God I put on my torch again because I think he didn't eat me, whatever that monster was, because of the torch. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere in this game. There's a lot of strategy to this too. I'm seriously impressed. Uh-oh. It's fading out. That means... What the hell? That usually means I die? I don't know why I still want to keep my raft. We should probably just leave this thing at this point, but okay. Wait, can I jump? Can I jump over this? Come on. Nope. I don't have enough of a jump. Hello? What is... Okay, that's a moose. A case of vodka. Yeah, you know what? Let... That would probably warm us up a bit, so let's grab that. In 17 years, I'm still dragging my raft for some reason. Oh. I'm on, uh... What's that head island called? E is it Easter Island? Yeah. Oh, the clay slab saved me last time. What does this one say? The 11th clay slab. I've only found three of them, so I'm clearly good at avoiding them. Follow God's instructions to reach God's garden. What the hell is God's instructions? Uh, okay. Can I come in? Did I make it to the end? Did I beat the game? Oh, it's actually opening, I think. Hello? I heard a lock. Uh, let's go back and see. Something made a noise, so... Oh, where am I going? This is so cool. All right, switch, operate. That sounds like the door opening. Oh God, okay, I thought I killed myself. Thanks for letting me in. Please don't eat me like the last cannibals that did. I'm still dragging my raft. <laughs> I don't get why I'm keep, what the hell? Well, that was cool. I don't know what made that happen. Uh-oh, dogs? Uh, I hope they're nice dogs. I mean, last time a dog saved me. Wait, what the? Oh my God, help me, push, push. Oh, I could jump and push. Oh, oh my God, the dog, the stray dog, the scientist, all these memories I forgot about. Giving the scientists away for an engine. Brave dog saving me from crocodiles. <laughs> and then stupid wild dogs ruined me. The dog saveth and taketh away, I guess. Oh no, the dog's dead now. So yeah, the prisoner wasn't even on the sub this time. His dead body was there last time. So you only get one chance and then the runs totally change depending on what you choose. This is so cool, the way this works. All right, I might regret this decision, but I feel like the scientist might save me with the crocodile predicament I'm gonna be in, so I'm gonna refuse just to see if they eat me or not. All right, they didn't eat me because I probably have the nuke and they're scared of me. What the hell? This is new. Oh, it's a bad sign when birds fly away. Generally, no problems will happen if birds are getting the hell out of there. Oh, your boat ran aground. Wait, before it... Oh, that's why I need the engine? To get through this crap? What the hell do I do? Swim? Scientists? Well, let's just see what happens, I guess. I don't really have a choice. I feel like I'm gonna freaking drown or something. A bundle of flares. Yeah, you know what? This... Oh, my boat's full. I'm not even on my boat. Just grab them. Yeah, I can't... I can't even move on. So I'm gonna have to lighten the load, I guess. Oh, wait. I think it's coming through. That's so confusing. It's just slowly going through. All right, I think I will drop the nuclear bomb though. Um, just cause I don't think I need it anymore. I think that's just for the cannibals. Could be wrong though, obviously. Oh God. Scientist, you might want to duck, dude. You might want to duck. Oh my God, right at the end. Talk about unlucky. I needed that guy too. I don't know how I'm going to deal with the Crocs. Well, this is where I likely die. I don't know. I don't... What do I do? Do I... Do I, I, I can't jump in the water. That would be dumb. Please, please, please go away. Please. Okay. Oh, they just wanted my water barrel. 
Wow, that is not as bad as I thought. I really wish my dog didn't jump off. Oh, he's gonna slowly destroy the whole thing. Stop, freak off. Oh, you're taking everything, you jerk. You jerk! Oh no no! Come on, just just don't just don't take me. That's all I care about. The light, that's fine. You can have it. I think I get a torch next scene, anyways. <laughs> Not the purifier. Damn it! I'm empty. <laughs> at least I'm still alive. <laughs> all right, I'm back at the wolves. I've abandoned everything besides my torch. I feel like maybe the torch will keep him away, and I just wanted to keep the boat as light as possible. But yeah, generally they say when you're surviving in the wilderness, as long as you have a light on, you're you're usually safe. Hopefully that's the case here. Oh, please. Please. Just go. Just freaking go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a lightness thing. Get on the boat! I can't! Oh, God. Please. Please. Please! Why is it? It looks like it's going. I'm so confused. So I practiced to see if I could jump on the boat beforehand, and he doesn't jump high enough. So jumping on the boat, I don't think would have worked. I don't, I wonder if I was just supposed to keep pushing, but that's what I did essentially last time. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Oh. <laughs> this is the message I made when I just spammed buttons. GGF. So yes, the, the messages are from other players and they're in the bottles. Obviously, mostly Chinese people play this, so I have no idea what they've been saying. It'd be really nice if I got some tips. What the hell? Who the hell's that? This is new. Dude, this is so fun. Every time it's a different run. What the hell is it? Wait, wait, wait. Flare, flare, flare. Operate. Help! <gasps> it did something! You were rescued by the men on the submarine! Oh, that last second decision. I was going to keep the flares for the dogs, thinking it would scare them away. But hey, look at that. A quick ending and a happy one, finally. Flare plus sub equals yay. Dude, that is, this is such a cool little game. Uh, extremely cheap too, by the way. It was like $4 Canadian and there's something like 17 different endings. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end this first episode here, guys. If you guys want to see more of the weird endings, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, if you want to know anything more about the game, I'll have a link in the description as well. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.